and community again yesterday we had started a new topic that is rubber molds or what how the rubber is going to manufacture today i am going to cover a topic that is different methods to manufacture rubber products so guys let's start with this what are the different methods to produce rubber products a first method to produce rubber product is extrusion die extrusion method okay with the help of extrusion whenever uh, you would have seen a gasket on your fridge door or gasket on your on, on your car uh, door or gasket wherever your ceiling is required uh, windows and everywhere wherever the ceiling is required we are using extrusion method wherever like you need a long length rubber in same shape so how it is done so there is a extrusion die in which there is a opening approximately equal to the shape of your gasket so this is the opening and then that with that opening a spree heated rubber is forced from back side with a ram and then you get a product which in which you can cut according to the length right so a very big example of extrusion die is gasket or in anywhere where ceiling is required on long length part so it requires an extrusion die you can make extrusion die uh, i will cover all these tools separately in a separate video a dedicated video for these tools then next we have a transfer mold in transfer mold there is a transfer mold and there is a opening where you can put a preheated rubber raw material here and then with the help of ram this is pressed into the rubber cavities this transfer mold can be single cavity can be multi cavity this transfer mold is used where you need accurate products and where you need accurate products the a very best example of these products are chromates bushes or or other kind of things then third we have compression mold okay compression mold is very old type of method used for rubber molds why it is very easy to produce the machine is not very complex like lot of people are still in india are still using manual rubber machine but here we have hydraulic rubber machine where this is a press and there are heaters attached to the press to heat the rubber mold the rubber mold is heated up till 170 to 180 degrees celsius and then the part the part enters the cavity and you get the rubber mold this can be multi cavity and you can this is very cheapest mold and but this is a slow process right so the very best example of compression mold are gasket washers rubber soles mats this is widely used manufacturing method in rubber industry you to to make this type of rubber you need a compression mold and the finally we have injection mold this is a uh, this is a process where the rubber is preheated with the help of injection and with the help of injection screw the rubber is pressurizedly inserted into the rubber mold through a screw so this is a rubber mold where you need highest accuracy this product is used wherever you need a highest accuracy and this is a fast process so the injection molding has a capability of ejecting the product so this is very fast product and this is the pro product this is the better where you you need a super accurate products so guys these are the basic ways to produce rubber products you can use either of these according to your application right so you, you cannot go for injection mold for the normal washer type of product because uh, you will not be able to give uh, that level of rates 
like the costing will be increased in injection molding, whereas like rubber molds you will uh, you can do it in very cheaper way. So all these methods you have to think and then uh, go for the plants. All these four products I will I will cover. Uh, all these four modes I will cover separately. There will be a dedicated series of videos coming down. So you can just refer for your design or manufacturing methods. Okay guys, stay home, stay safe. Thank you.